Hello again, everybody. It's Scott Casper, Takedown Media. Our continuing coverage of the sport takes us to Minnesota today. The clash is coming up. This is uh, a January 1st and 2nd edition, the year 2016. Here to talk about it, Lance Hughes. Lance, how are you? I'm doing well, Scott. Thanks for having me on. It's good to talk to you again, executive director of this mighty event that brings together some of the best of the country. It's a national high school wrestling duels. It's been going on for quite some time and highly successful. Can you talk to us about the origins of the event? Uh, You know, about 14 years ago, a young man who was a wrestler lived in Rochester, asked, uh, was in Rochester and there was a big hockey tournament there during the holiday season and said, how come there's nothing for wrestling? And this was Ed Ruska's son who you'll inter- I think you're going to interview Ed while you're at the clash. You bet. He came up with the concept, put the format together of how they were going to duel, uh, you know, one day as a bracket. And then the next uh, day it was four teams that went into a round robin and and now it is where it is today. He's, now, let's uh, talk a little bit about where it's held in Rochester. Uh, we'll talk about Rochester as a community in a, in a few moments. But this is, this event is actually being held uh, at a at a at a multi uh, use sports facility called the Ro- uh, Rochester Regional Sports Center. It's perfect for this event. It is, and it, uh, the rest of the clash actually takes place uh, within the field house at the sports center. The sports center also includes a great big bubble dome that they put over the football field in the winter, which you'll see when you, uh, uh, anyone who comes to the clash, you'll see it right next to the field house. Uh, There's the field house. There's another big gym by there. It's a great big sports uh, complex that uh, is right there on Rochester Community and Technical College. Fans, we're talking with Lance Hughes. He's the executive director of the Clash. You're going to be able to watch it, by the way, on TrackCast for ten bucks for the webcast. It features how many different, how many duels? Uh, there's ninety six duels. So uh, mats, yeah, eight mats. Okay, eight mats. Thirty two teams. Thirty two teams. Each team wrestles six times. Six duels. Wow. So they're getting some uh, great wrestling and they get to face some of the best in the country. And there are guys um, that have been at this event. There are coaches and, and teams that have been at this event every year. Yes. Vacaville, California and Apple Valley High School in Minnesota. Uh, those two teams have been to all 13 clashes. Wow. So this would mark their 14th. Is that correct? correct. It is the clash 14 this season. No, well, we thank Paul Collins, the head coach of the returning champs. Oak Park River Forest of Illinois. Talk a little bit about uh, you get a team like that that travels in, or even Vacaville. I know Adam White's coming in as well with his team out of California. Um, This this has become such a national sensation that it doesn't take long for you guys to fill up the roster uh, of teams that are going to be competing, does it? It doesn't. There's a lot of teams out there who want to come and But, you know, we as a board, the Clash board, uh, we have certain guidelines that we try to follow. We want 8 to 10 Minnesota teams and 8 to 10 more Midwest teams. And then we pull the rest nationally uh, to create the field of 32. And the brackets uh, have now been released as well. I've noticed a different look from last year to this year. I'm on the website, and folks, you can follow along with us at clashmn.com. And the the thing I'm noticing first and foremost, we have sponsors of every single mat. Uh, yep. Uh, let's see. For well, about three years ago, probably I brought this concept up to Elwood and. Steve Elwood, who's also on the board, and we talked about it. And finally, this year, I think we believed in it enough we could pull it off, and we went out to uh, find some corporate sponsors and sold them on this deal of, hey, let's uh, put your brand on the mat. Uh, let's put it around the mat on the uh, scorer's table and the announcer's table and some other signage and uh, basically give you naming rights for the mat. There are no more there. There's not a mat one or mat two or three anymore. It's either the Mayo Clinic Sports Medicine mat or the Buffalo Wild Wings mat or the Dick Sporting Goods mat. And uh, by golly, uh, 11 months after starting on it, uh, we put it together and it's it's coming to fruition. Folks, again, you can check out what we're talking about on the very first page you'll go to. Uh, surely there's other things I'm going to be directing you to on the website, but take a look at what this looks like. I love I love the the colors. 
I love uh, how it, how it all. It doesn't look like we're pulling mats, volunteer mats from high schools or or junior programs uh, or even high, uh, collegiate programs. This is these are dedicated mats, and when you can brand an event like this with each mat, I think it's a terrific idea. When you get somebody like uh, RNS Transport or Cavana Energy or or uh, State Farm or Morgan and Trust uh, Realty, I love that concept. Thanks. And uh, what you're going to see is we, we bought all eight new mats. We kind of needed some new mats. And uh, the Rochester Amateur Sports Center helped us uh, put a deal together where we bought, went to Easy Flex. Uh, they wanted to be part of our event, gave us a great deal on eight brand new mats that are uh, color coded or they're, you know, colored to match the brand of each company. And uh, we're looking forward to seeing how it all looks on. <laughs> uh, January 1st. Yeah, and you, again, you can watch it on TrackCast. We'll be doing the show there live Saturday morning to get a little bit more of an intense uh, and a little closer uh, look at the show as we interview uh, some of the folks behind the Clash. Matter of fact, we're going to be talking with Chad Eikhoff. From, uh, he's a sports medicine supervisor of athletic trainers, uh, along with Mayo Clinic Sports Medicine. How do you, uh, Mayo Clinic, first of all, Mayo Clinic Sports Medicine in particular, uh, it's pretty special that you, you guys have these, uh, these guys in your own backyard and uh, taking care of the athletes. I like that. Yeah, that was one of our first companies that we said, they're a must. We have to go get uh, Mayo Clinic Sports Medicine. And, you know, they're a big corporation. It uh, wasn't exactly the easiest thing to put together, but after we really pitched the deal and they really saw the whole big picture of it, um, they bought into it and uh, we're moving forward and excited to have them on board as a sponsor. So we'll talk with Chad. We're going to be talking, as I mentioned earlier, uh, with Paul Collins, uh, the head coach of the returning champs, Oak Park River Forest of Illinois. We'll be talking with Vacaville, California, high school head coach Adam White, Ed Riska. We talked, uh, mentioned him a little bit ago, uh, executive director of the Rochester Amateur Sports Commission. His view, his vision of this event, but more importantly, his support of the sport has been key. Can you talk about that? It has, and uh, Ed brings a lot of events, wrestling events, to Rochester, Minnesota. Obviously, it helps to have that nice sports complex there at RCTC, but uh, Ed puts on some events where he gets involved. He gets all the hotels involved. He gets uh, the commerce in town involved, and uh, I think probably most cities would love to be doing what Ed is doing in Rochester. You know, and, and you, you mentioned commerce, and and. Let's face it, an event like this can have an economic impact on the uh, community of Rochester and the surrounding area of three, four, five hundred thousand dollars um, and that's nothing to sneeze at in this day and age. We're looking to see how many of these events we can bring to Rochester, at least from Ed's chair. I think it's terrific, and the community obviously is embracing wrestling. It's become a mecca, if you will, for events just like this and and perhaps that's his greater view. Man, is wrestling benefiting? You bet they are. How about Ben Pearson, senior sports writer, Rochester Post Bulletin? He's due up in our second hour uh, of the show. And uh, this guy has uh, a great grasp on the sport, not just as a senior sports writer, but absolutely loves the sport. He does. And uh, I'm going to give him a little bit of credit here. Last year, we had a small school near Rochester, Kenyon Wanamingo, who came into the tournament. Uh, the national seeders who we use put them in as a seven or a, I think a seven seed. And uh, Ben complained like crazy and said, you guys missed the boat. You way under seeded them. And sure enough, they knocked off a two seed <laughs> uh, in the first round last year. And all well, the rest of us were eating crow and Ben walked around with a big grin on his face for two days. As a matter of fact, they're back this year. Ken Kenyon Wanamingo out of Minnesota is back this year uh, in the clash. Who are some of the, other teams of note and in, in, in states of note because it is a, a great collection. Well, I'd say uh, if you head to that homepage on the website, all the teams are on there. But obviously, Apple Valley is always a contender. They're a top uh, 25 team ranked by Intermet. Buchanan, California, first time to the clash. Uh, they're one of the top 10 teams in the country, no matter what rankings you look at. Um, Ironwood Ridge, Arizona, uh, they're coming in. Uh, for the first time, they're also a real high seed. Park Hill, Missouri uh, is a high seed. 
Oak Park River Forest, Marmion Academy, Roseburg, Oregon, uh, Rio Rancho, New Mexico. First time coming. They've uh, won a few state championships there in New Mexico in a row. Tuttle, Oklahoma, Wasatch, uh, Kale Sanderson's High School, okay. Wasatch, Utah will be there. Um, so definitely uh, St. Michael Albertville and St. Ed's probably are the two teams I better not forget to mention when we're talking about the elite teams. <laughs> and there, I will tell you, yeah, you don't want to, actually, we don't want to forget any of them. And, and folks, you can see the uh, incredible collection of, uh, of logos to the teams that they're attached and see it again at clashmn.com. By the webcast, by the way, you're going to see some incredible wrestling uh, and it's all going to be on TrackCast. Ten bucks will get you the uh, uh, the TrackCast for the uh, two-day event, January 1st and 2nd, live from Rochester, Minnesota. Uh, the Clash is uh, just one of those events that's turned out to be a must-be-at or must-see event and of course the kids feel the same way and so do the coaches about wanting to be there uh, they are coming from around the country and you folks will not be disappointed you can follow them on twitter and facebook as well um, i wanted to compliment you in particular lance because i know that you're um, behind this website i know that you've done uh, your homework and assembling this website and it actually works now i could do something like this i'm sure uh, but it wouldn't work. <laughs> so thank you very much for taking the time to do it the right way. It's a great website. Thanks. I appreciate it. You know, one of the things that I told you I'd do is direct you folks to some various features of the website. You can go back and look at the history, uh, watch matches. You can check out the press room. Uh, there's contact information there as well, who they support. And I, I really want to get into who, who you support. Th this event obviously makes money. Where does the money go? What's, what's, who's the beneficiary of the event? Well, it makes money, and uh, we give all the money away, and we give it away to Section 1 wrestlers, mainly in southeast Minnesota. And uh, there's three classes uh, in Minnesota. So there are... Uh, about 35 high school teams, maybe 40 teams that uh, we give to booster clubs uh, for their high school teams. We also give to some youth programs in Southeast Minnesota. Uh, most of those kids that uh, from Southeast Minnesota, if they make a Minnesota national team where they go to the national duels uh, for freestyle and Greco, uh, you know, we help support them. I love we, it set up some transportation to those events. We give money to RCTC. We give money to the University of Minnesota Gopher uh, Booster Club uh, by doing quite a bit with the Minnesota Christmas Tournament, which was just a couple of weeks ago. And, uh, yeah, we're it's all about Southeast Minnesota wrestling and Minnesota wrestling in general, and uh, it's nice to be able to give as much money away as we do. Great competition, great venue at the home of the world-renowned Mayo Medical Center. And uh, it's Rochester, Minnesota, folks, and it's, uh, it's winter, and we're going to be wrestling on the 1st and 2nd of January. We hope you join us there live. The teams will be there. They're going to be in competition looking for titles and looking for opportunities to be seen and to uh, compete against some of the other great teams around the country. It's going to be outstanding. Hope you join us on Saturday morning at 9 a.m. Central for the broadcast live of Takedown Wrestling Radio. We'll have some great guests, uh, great entertainment. We'll be giving away some shoes from our friends at ASICS, and uh, I believe these are uh, Jordan Burrow shoes. I mean, who wouldn't want to win Jordan Burrow elite shoes, elite wrestling shoes? Defense Soap will be uh, along for the ride as well. They'll be giving away travel kits, $50 values there, and it'll just be a terrific show, and we hope you enjoy the broadcast. Lance, it's always good to talk to you. Never enough time, but um, we want to make sure the folks uh, uh, do check out the website again. It's clashmn.com, and again, the uh, the entire webcast can be purchased for 10 bucks, uh, and that's that's a steal. $10 for an entire webcast, any mat, any match, 10 bucks for uh, the two days. Uh, appreciate the time, Lance. I'm looking forward to seeing you on Friday. It's a full weekend of wrestling, and uh, we love the opportunity. Hey, thanks for having me, Scott, and thanks for uh, supporting the Clash.
Hey, the Clash coming up, you folks. Again, check out the website, clashmn.com. For all of us, our guest has been Lance Hughes, Executive Director of The Clash. I'm Scott Casper of Takedown. We appreciate you watching. <laughs>